Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wolf Quest 3, where we are here with our wild meadow, as she is seeking out her place here in Lamar River, and seeking out a new mate, so that she can carry on the legacy of the Luna Pack. I am so excited that very soon, just a few more days, we will be able to actually have puppies, and Meadow will be able to become a mother and lead a pack of her own. But first, we need to be able to find just the right mate to join her in that adventure. Oops, we're gonna slide down here very carefully. Whew, that was a little bit... Didn't expect that to be a little bit of the ride it turned into, because we did just see a snowshoe hare come through here. And I'm thinking that wouldn't be a bad snack. Aha! Aha! There we go. That that would not be a bad snack for her to enjoy, especially now that the snowshoe hairs no longer twitch. If you guys recall, when we first started playing Wolf Quest 3, the hairs would twitch when you dropped them on the ground, and it was very, very disconcerting, I will just say that. <laughs> Thankfully, now they just lie there. Good. And we've topped off a little bit of her health and a little bit of her hunger. And hopefully, we can find her something else that she can go ahead and eat pretty soon. But we are looking for some dispersal males. Aha! And we still actually have Pashka, the dispersal wolf, um, following us. And I think we're going to go ahead and we're going to let him go to his own thing. He's only got diversity at level 2. And we really are looking for the perfect mate for Meadow. Because as we discussed in our previous episodes, if we do not have a mate who is going to have really strong and healthy genetics, then we will not end up with puppies who are strong and healthy. And because Meadow is the last of her line in being the, the wolves of the Luna pack, oh, so many generations we have gone from the very first wolf quest adventures we had with Luna and Soul all the way to now then, you know, we have a risk of the pack dying out if Meadow dies, or if we're not able to have healthy puppies and keep those puppies alive long enough that they could come and continue their adventures one day when the time comes for them to become parents of their own here in Lamar Valley. Like, I'm, I'm nervous about this too, because if we don't find just the right mate for her, we really run the risk of potentially having her become uh, just the mother of very sick pups, and we need the pack to be healthy. All right, let's try howling. Oh, there's personal wolves ahead. It's this guy again. Like, dude. Dude, it's just not gonna work. I, I feel like he's too timid, too. Like, he just keeps following us. All right, look. We need to go ahead. Let's actually come over. Let's come down to the river. I think that would be a really good... That would be a really good thing to do. So can I add a custom marker somehow? Aha. Uh, so I think I can. All right, river patrol. Can I can I say that? Ah, it would show up where we're currently at. All right, well, we're gonna try to head down through the fossil forest and maybe head over to the river, the meadows that are over there so that we can try to find a different dispersal wolf because this is definitely not the one. That, that I think that really Meadow needs as a mate. He just seems too timid. He only has two diversity skills, like two diversity notes in his... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Where'd you go, Bun Bun? 25 minutes ago. This could be dinner. We've got to look carefully. Did you go this way? 35 minutes ago. Five minutes ago. Okay, it's somewhere down here. Wait, what was that? Snowshoe hair, Lamar Canyon. Ah, there it is. All right, go, 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 go. All right, wait, where are we now? We have wandered into Lamar Canyon territory. We do not want to do that. Let's get a little bit of a move on. I think after running into so many very territorial, like, stray dogs, in Lost River, Meadow would be extremely cautious about running into somebody's territory. Our headcanon for Meadow's story is that she really had to spend a lot of her, her time growing up into an adult in Lost River because she lost so much of the forest and so much of her family and her pack to a very powerful and very intense forest fire. Alright, that's their territory too. We should probably wander this way then to be super careful. 
Yeah, we need to just head this direction for a little bit. But that is our story for what happened with Meadow. And I think that the stray dogs who ended up becoming wild dogs who took over Lost River when all of their owners disappeared uh, due to the very mysterious story of Lost River ended up becoming extremely aggressive ones because I think the ones left behind would have been like the very, very um, fierce like guard dogs that you would leave behind in like your stereotypical junkyard or something. And those dogs were left to like roam free and then eventually formed really aggressive wild packs is my theory at least of what happened to Lost River. And so Meadow learned because those packs were unusually highly aggressive about everything, not just having a territory like wolves might be, to really avoid confrontation. She's on her own and she's learned that it's not cowardly to go ahead and try to stay out of trouble. It's actually a sign of survival. And to her, the fact that you are going to be able to survive is the highest strength. Not if you're the toughest, not if you're the biggest, not if you're the meanest, because she saw plenty of the stray dogs who fulfilled all of those qualities in Lost River. The most important quality to strength to her is the ability to survive at all. Hmm. All right, what's down here? A territory marker, but there's also a bevy of scents over here. What is happening? Elk calf from the wheatgrass herd. Spike elk. So I think we're stumbling on an elk herd over here. And then, what is this? A grizzly bear. Okay, so there's also a grizzly bear nearby. And right over here is another snowshoe hare. Is it nearby? Five minutes ago? This way? Just now? See? And again, it's not about finding the biggest and toughest of prey, like that elk herd. It's being able to find what allows you to survive, even though I think that these hares just barely, barely take the edge off her hunger. Alright, how far are we now? Alright, now we're doing pretty good. We can go ahead and slow down. A mule deer, there's a grizzly bear nearby. And we can spend a little bit of time trying to just study this area. Let's see, is that a dispersal wolf scent? Perhaps? No, a fox. And we'll talk more about Meadow and the secrets that she learns from foxes in the future. But for now, we're really going to focus on just trying to get her a mate and ready because very, very soon it's going to be an opportunity to have pups of her own. All right, there is a grizzly bear nearby. And territory scent markers. We might try to take over a little bit of territory. Just a teeny bit. There's another snowshoe hare. <laughs> they must be breeding like rabbits in order to have that many members. And now we're out here. Aha! It definitely put on the speed. Ah! Where'd it go? There it is. And there we go. All right, this isn't so bad. You know, a wide open meadow. I, I don't think she likes being that exposed, but at least we can get a bit of a good glimpse at anything that might be coming at any angle for us. There's wild hares hanging out amongst all the sagebrush. Let's try giving us a little howl. hair carcass, which we took care of. Let's see, mule deer, which we don't really need to hunt right now. And is there anybody else? Anybody else around here? And this is the part in her life where she is the lone wolf, and now we need to go ahead and start calling to see if we can get some attention. And I wonder if it might actually be worth it to go and visit the edges of the other pack territories. All right, looks like there's a lot of elk this way. The rabbit brush herd, what a fun name. And then over here are gonna be some bison. Oh, look at the clouds. Good luck, my girl. We'll let her go ahead and maybe get some sleep. 
Maybe some of the dispersal wolves will come to investigate what's going on. But this is really intense. Like, we need to hurry and we need her to find a mate. It's going to be time for pups sooner than we think. And she's going to need to have a healthy mate for that. I just really... What do you guys think? Yes, we could have accepted. <gasps> dispersal wolves ahead. Yes. Look, and they're doing some hunting. All right. Prospect Peak. Two-year-old. <gasps> there we go. A level four. This is fantastic. Okay, how many wolves? Oh my gosh, there's wolves everywhere. <laughs> Holy cow, there's Cinnabar Pack right over here. Um, We have our bevy of choices from a whole bunch of these wolves, actually. And there is a wolf right over here who is all black, just like the knight from the looks of it. Who looks like he actually... Let's do a play bow. She's not super playful, but we're going to see how he reacts to it. But he actually would be a perfect match. Can we get a little closer? Oh no, are they going to fight with each other? Ah, the, oh my gosh! All of the different wolves are fighting over one another! Or fighting over her! This is going to make being able to interview potential mates very difficult. But this also gives us a great chance to see who's actually going to be stronger. Already, several of them have disappeared. Yeah, they are kind of fighting over her, aren't they? I can try a confident tail wag. All right, Cinnabar Pack is now chasing the other one. Uh, okay, so we've apparently convinced some of the wolves to get to know us better. Holy freaking cow! Oh my gosh! <sighs> The two different packs are, like, fighting one another now. Alright, let's go with Prospe Prospect Peak. And then let's see if we can actually get his attention. Because he's actually got... Let's do Sniff Noses. <gasps> there we go! Yay! He likes us more! I think he was more leading away from the Cinnabar packs, like, chaos. Alright, let's come over. Yay, let's do a Playbell back! He seems pretty cool. We're not at a place... I mean, I like this guy too. So these two are the Prospect Peak males. Um, there, we grinned. So what would really make him feel super happy? He's actually super playful. I kind of like that. He seems confident about himself. I think he's just like... It's almost like they want her to, like, be on the run with them. Let's let's try licking his face. We'll just move things along a little. What do you think about that? Oh, yay! Getting a little closer! Nice! Let's go ahead and do confident tail wag. Okay, we have to give them a chance to respond. Come on, please! I really want to be able to get her a mate. Uh, let's do sniff noses. Ah! He's on the run! Again! Oh, slow down! Oh, he's rolling on his back. Look, the other ones are really intimidating one another. The Cinnabar pack has come back. That's what's going on. So the Cinnabar pack is actually... Oh, look at them. No, I want this one. Probably. We seem to get along pretty well with them. So the Cinnabar pack has not given up is the thing. Uh, and I wonder if we did end up picking him. I'll do a little chin rest. Okay, he didn't seem to like that very much. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Yes. All right, so I think now we're just trying to get some space from the Cinnabar pack, who are also in on this. And here I was worried we wouldn't be able to have enough of a connection, like we wouldn't find a good potential mate. Look at him. I like his coat. He seems to be pretty content with us too. Uh, let's go ahead, let's do a look face. <coughs> And the Cinnabar pack, whoa, the Cinnabar pack is still following us. I almost feel like they're very anta antagonistic and very unhappy at the way that this is like starting to go. All right, Prospect Peak, hold still, metal, stop running. We need to slow down so we can maybe play bow. There, it is like the, the Prospect Peak pack is definitely, definitely, 
like like being a little cautious but the cinnabar pack seems super aggressive and like unhappy about this turn of events that two other males showed up and we probably would have picked from one of the, the cinnabar pack if we hadn't ended up here first or like we hadn't found the prospect peak pack look at that yeah he's still just trying to get some distance from them huh all right let's do yay let's do sniff noses again okay Nice! Have we secured this guy as our as our pack member? He seems pretty happy. I think he's pretty confident. He's just the same as Meadow in being cautious. Yes! We've made an impression on this wolf. Now hunt and socialize together for several days so you learn about each other's personalities and abilities. You'll gradually increase affinity. When full, you can decide on becoming mates. Yes! Okay, so it's a trial period of having mate! <laughs> Yay! And now the cinnamar pack has immediately turned aggressive on us. Not the greatest. All right, come on. Let's. Oh no! You jerk! How do I? You cannot attack my my mate! Oh my gosh, this is so dramatic. Because think about it. Now the cinnamar pack, they're being super aggressive, because they lost. All right, come on. Come on. Yeah, we want to run for it. We don't want them on our. Meadow and I feel like her new mate don't care about being the strongest or any ridiculousness like that. They care about survival. And there's wisdom in just focusing on survival. Huh. Yeah, look, while those egotistical fools are busy howling their heads off, we're actually getting a bite to eat and hopefully getting ready to build some affinity with our new mate. Huzzah! All right, well, our new hopeful potential mate. All right, let's see. Let's sniff his nose again. And just keep that bond pretty strong. All right, you guys, here we go. It's time to go ahead and hopefully have this affinity bond with her new mate. And then get one step closer to being able to have pups. So what do you guys think we should name him? I'm actually really happy with who we found. And apparently they're a very good genetic match as well. So if you guys could do please leave a like for Meadow finding a mate. Who should he be? He's kind of a mystery, but he's definitely the best choice out of all of the potentials we had there. And can we give him a bit of a snack? All right, let's go ahead and drop this and let's see if he'll eat it. All right, are you gonna go ahead and enjoy this uh, nice carcass I just left you? We'll have to see. But all right, do please leave a like for her new mate. And if you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.